Good afternoon and welcome to the April 6, 2010 meeting of the Glendale Housing Authority. May we have the roll call, please? Authority members Draymond? Here. Friedman? Here. Mincy? Here. Razian? Here. Quintero? Here. Weaver? Here. Chairman Najarian? Here. May we have your report? Certainly. The agenda for the April 6, 2010 regular meeting of the Glendale Housing Authority was posted on Thursday, April 1, 2010 on the Bolton Board outside City Hall. Thank you. The next item, please. Next item is approval of minutes. So, so moved. Second. Uh, with no objections or corrections, the minutes will be approved as submitted. Next item, please. Next item is oral communication. Discussion is limited to items not a part of this agenda. Each speaker is allowed five minutes. Members of the Housing Authority may question or respond to the speaker, but there will be no debate or decision, and the matter may be referred to staff through the Executive Director for an investigation and a report. Thank you. I have one card from Herbert Milano. My contention is that if you've had this report before you, as you try to evaluate your priorities for, uh, for the next year's budget, I think it will highlight significantly where your emphasis should be with regard to those issues that improves our quality of life. Um, I believe that in addition to the to a quality of life reports, it will be quite advantageous to have a, uh, another table, a report that it con puts all the information on the budget in a very concise way. My suggestion is uh, a report similar to the one you already get with the appropriations by department by fund. Um, you'll find it in your budget, but imagine that report stretched out for 10, 11, 12 years, so you could see the trends. And you will see how it is that we are somehow having to bear with some lesser quality of life due to what is happening with the budget. You just cannot isolate those two. The, um, as you may know, we have uh, the issue with broken sidewalks, which causes elderly to fall, break their hips, go into hospitals, and so on. But we have apparently a 12-year backlog. The way we fund it, it takes 12 years for us to get there. The quality of our roads are getting worse. You know, we should be doing 10 to 15 miles a year. We do less than one as far as reconstruction is concerned. We have increased congestion. We have, you know, traffic accidents that need abating. And all of these solutions need money. So when you look at a table that, like the one I suggested, you'll be able to see some dramatic changes in the past 11 years, since 1999. The, um, the fire paramedic fund in 1999 was zero. And this year's budget is 12 million. And it went like zero to two million, then up to 3.3, .3, then a couple of years later at six. It's just growing in a way exponentially. If you look at the um, fire general fund, it went from 16 million to 36 million, 225%. So when you look at all of these numbers in that way, it really becomes to highlight where it is in the budget that we're basically losing control. Let me give you another one medical insurance for employees. From 2.5 million to 13.3. That's a 532% increase. And if I look at all the other employee benefits, 360% for unemployment insurance, 444% for vision insurance, 398% increase for employee benefits, the, you know, the post employment uh, uh, health uh, fund. And yet, the consumer price index only went up 35 percent. And so my thinking is that when you look at this to look at the reality of how we've grown the, the budget, and then you look at the conditions that show up on the quality of life indicators, I think it give you a, gives you a better realization of what needs to be corrected and what needs to be addressed. And that, at the end of the, the day, is what I was hoping for in having a really good quality of life indicators that will allow you to go back and say, are we really putting the priorities and having the budget aligned to those priorities as you move into the future? Thank you very much. Thank you. 
I have no other cards uh, for oral communications. Uh, Mr. Starbird, let me ask, when is the uh, uh, quality of life report scheduled for return? Yeah, we don't have it on a schedule. We had a uh, follow-up meeting with uh, all the staff involved and talked about the need to expand some of the areas to make sure we had the kind of information you need to really give a clear picture. Uh, I'll need to go back and, and check on what our timing is for that, and I'll give you an update. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the next item, please, Mr. Kasakian. There are no items on the business agenda. Next item is authority member and staff comments. Any comments from authority staff? Yeah, I see no comments. We have no new business. I'll move we adjourn. Second. The Housing Authority is adjourned.